this big mountain here in front of me is Blue Mountain and the hikers come down from right there and they're going northbound so those are um, come across the highway right there and then David and Bob have their tent set up for trail magic they're serving uh, hot dogs and chili dogs and different types of drinks and stuff right there and then the hikers will either get a shuttle into town from here and go to a hotel to do a Nero day a Nero is where they do short miles one day and then go in and spend the night in a hotel uh, resupply food do their laundry stuff like that and then they get right back on trail the next morning if they do a zero day then that means they will stay in town all day tomorrow and not they'll go into town today and stay there all day tomorrow and not come back out on trail until the following day so a zero day is where they do zero miles for that day so this is the gap that we're parked at and down there on the other end of the driveway is where they go back up going northbound so let me see if I can come down this little hill I am standing up here where you can see it drops down into this little creek right here There's no water in that creek but And that's the mountain. So let me walk down here and I'll see if I can get a better view of the parking lot and everything. Oof, muddy. Right down there by that sign where the stairs are is where the hikers go back up going northbound. Alright, well I'm going to go sit down and rest and visit and just wait for some hikers to come in. So I will get back with y'all in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm sitting here at uh, Unicoi Gap and I just met an interesting hiker and I'm going to have him tell y'all what his name is as soon as this truck goes by. Jacob Adam Gons. And Barefoot. His trail name is Barefoot. And you are hiking from, did you start the approach trail? I, the, I started at the approach trail and I'm going all the way to Katahdin. And you're hiking the whole thing barefoot. Yes, ma'am. And how long did you say it had been since you... I took off my shoes about three years ago. Sometimes I have to put on flip-flops to go inside Walmart and stuff because sanitation issues, but when's the last time you washed your shoes? Yeah. <laughs> I wash my feet probably daily. but So I think that's awesome that... Um, somebody can hike 2,200 miles, and you've been to all 48 been to lower states. Alaska and Hawaii, riding freight trains and hitchhiking all the way. I've walked across multiple states, Kansas, more times than I care to count. <laughs> and how long did, has it taken you to do all that? Uh, 
started on February 10th, 2007, uh, 2007, so 13 years and a month about. Yeah. Wow. Sounds right. 13 years and you've just been walking all over seeing. Okay, so here's a question for you. You've, you've walked all this distance and hitchhiked all this distance. What would you say has been your most memorable moment during all that time? One of the hardest things I ever did was uh, I was in Breckenridge, Colorado. It's 11,000 foot elevation and it was January and there was five feet of snow on the ground everywhere. The, the, I had, I, in the past three days, I had seen the sun for a total of like five minutes. And me and my friends had to make camp out in the woods. And I had to cut down pine boughs to make a bed so that I wasn't sleeping directly on the snow. We started a fire one night. By the time we woke up in the morning, it had melted like five feet down into the snow. Wow. That was rough. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, barefoot. Good luck on your walk to Katahdin, and uh, maybe we'll see you up trail a little ways. All right. Thanks. Cheers. All right. End of the day wrap up. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of vlogging today. I got here to Unicoi Gap and. Uh, Bob and Dave were already doing trail magic here and they invited me to stay and just sit and relax and um, so I didn't do much of anything today but because it was their camp and not mine I didn't feel comfortable just bringing the camera out a whole lot I did some but not a whole lot but so I just sat around all day and talked to hikers and got to meet some new hikers that I hadn't met yet and uh, that was it that that's been the extent of my day is just sitting in my chair outside enjoying the fact that it wasn't raining all day and it was nice and warm and uh, just sitting around talking to people um, after Dave and well let me tell you a story about Dave and Bob they have both through hiked the entire trail but they did it in sections uh, not through hike in one year so they've been friends for a long time and they hiked 1,600 miles of the trail together um, at different at different times through many many years. Um, but once a year, they come out here to this same gap every year, and one day every year they do trail magic here at this gap. So. Uh, I guess I was just blessed to have hit them at just the right day and been here on just the right day to be able to meet them and hear their story and just be invited to sit down and relax and uh, not have to do anything, not have to do trail magic, not have to take hikers into town or give rides to Walmart or anything. I mean, I basically haven't done anything all day. Um, but anyway, after they left, they got all packed up and they left. Um, a through hiker from last year that I met several days ago at Woody Gap, he's been here with us all day today too. And he and I called up in my van and we went to uh, Hiawassee and went and had dinner at the country kitchen and uh, went to the grocery store and picked up a few items and had a lot of laughs over the fact that 
this big grocery store here is completely wiped out of toilet paper and from what I'm understanding pretty much every uh, grocery store throughout Georgia is uh, completely wiped out on toilet paper and uh, hand sanitizer um, through hikers need the hand sanitizer because they can't just wash their hands anytime they want to and we cannot find it anywhere so um in a couple of days when i go to walmart i'm gonna have to try to find a way to make some homemade hand sanitizer with um aloe vera gel and or aloe gel and alcohol and um because i've given even all of my hand sanitizer away to hikers that needed it and of course i do have a way to be able to wash my hands but i keep telling them you know hand sanitizer doesn't kill coronavirus or the norovirus either one hand sanitizer is designed to kill bacteria and norovirus and coronavirus are both viruses they're not bacterial so that's not going to kill it um but it still is a way for them to feel like their hands are clean so um i need to try to find a way to make it but anyway um me and the count had a really good time in town just uh hiawassee is a beautiful little town it's uh built right on a lake and uh you drive through main street it's a very long town and main street goes right through the middle of town and the lake is you'll see part of the lake on the left and then you go down the road a little bit and the lake is on the right and it just like lake everywhere and it, it's just beautiful but um anyway we got back out here to the trailhead and uh we sat here and talked and visited for a while and um he's out here in a little minivan and of course i've got my van and so he was looking at some of the things i've done to the van and a few things that he could um maybe borrow the idea and do with his van and so anyway we just had a good evening and uh the plan right now for tomorrow uh we may stay right here and do trail magic but we're figuring since it's saturday there's probably going to be somebody else here wanting to do trail magic so not sure exactly what we're going to do tomorrow yet so um we'll figure that out in the morning when we wake up and get moving around so um i just want to say thank you all for watching my vlogs and i'll try to vlog as much as i can but i also don't want to make anyone else feel uncomfortable um I, of course, I always ask people first before I put a camera in their face. So, but anyway, thank y'all for sticking around and watching the vlogs. And um, hopefully in a couple of days or so, maybe I can get out on the trail for a little bit. Uh, the air is so thin up here. We're like at 3,000 feet in elevation being on top of the mountain. Uh, anywhere from 3,000 to 3,500 feet in elevation and the air is really thin here plus it's been raining so much and with me having asthma I just haven't been able to do just a whole lot of walking up any of the trails yet but hopefully I'll get used to the elevation and stuff and be able to get on out on trail pretty soon all right well this video is getting pretty long so 
I'm going to let y'all go, and I will see y'all in the morning. Y'all have a good night. Bye.